This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is in atmospheric science and in particular we're looking at why cold air sinks in the atmosphere. So this applies to mostly the troposphere because that is going to be involved with our weather, our climate, our weather patterns and systems, water vapor. So why does cold air sink? This video is going to look at the thermodynamics involved with cold air, the density, the buoyancy, the kinetic energy, and the air molecules, and discuss why cold air sinks. So to begin with, you take an air parcel, which is a given area or volume of the atmosphere that contains air molecules, and we do this to separate that from the atmosphere as a whole, so we can look at a definitive system and volume of air and the effects when you change temperature, pressure, and various other parameters. So this air parcel, and we have it towards the top of the troposphere, towards the tropopause, and this could be a range of altitudes depending on latitude. Let's just say it's 15 kilometers above the surface. So this air has risen, has ascended due to hot air rising, which is a video I've done in this playlist. You can check it out. So we have the result of this hot air rising through the troposphere, reaching an altitude of 15 kilometers. And here the temperature has dropped down to around negative 50 degrees centigrade. Now what happens is the thermal energy is no longer being added because the surface is where you have the conduction and the initial convection and to make the hot air rise. So you have a certain amount of collisions the air molecules are doing and there is a certain level of energy left in this air parcel because if there was no energy, it will be absolute zero Kelvin, which is very hard to achieve in a natural system. And that would be negative 273 degrees Celsius. Now this temperature of the air parcel is minus or negative 50. So there's still some energy left in the air molecules. There's still some collisions that would produce this temperature of negative 50. And why does cold air sink? Well, it's down to the density of the air. Now when you get a reduction or a decrease in thermal energy in the air parcel. You have less movement and energetic air molecules, which creates less collisions. Now also you have the air pressure and the air density. So initially you have these less collisions and less energy. So you're gonna have the actual air molecules move less and the air parcel will decrease in volume. It will get smaller and you still don't have much collisions because the energy is not there to create the collisions and make these air molecules move. So you have this decrease in getting smaller air parcel and this creates the change in density. It becomes more dense than the air around it at this altitude of 15 kilometers and the surrounding air is minus 50. So this air parcel is both denser with less energy and smaller in volume so it's going to sink going to subside and go down because of the density is heavier it's more dense and this dense air parcel is going to drop down back towards the surface so the connection between why hot air rises and cold air sinks is very important to grasp when looking at both the, the physics and chemistry of the atmosphere, in particular the troposphere, and looking at the formation of clouds because these air parcels, these, this air that's going to rise or sink is going to contain water vapor and it's going to control whether we have cloud formation at certain altitudes and certain types of clouds, storm systems, weather patterns, wind direction, and it all comes down to these basic principles of thermodynamics. So you need to have the change of density, which is the change in buoyancy, which relates to the change in the volume of the air parcel and the amount of energy within the air molecules creating a certain level of collisions and that would be a certain temperature of the air and this cold air is going to sink back down to the surface where eventually when it reaches the surface will in assumption reheat because that is the source of the thermal energy through conduction is via the surface. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel. 
and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.